Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and compare the iPhone 13 and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 and pretty much see which one is the better phone for you. Now, these two phones are very different than each other, but they're roughly around the same price, so it's still kind of interesting to compare. If you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there. You can help support the channel at the same time. Now, side by side, the iPhone 13 is a smaller phone overall, but it comes at a cost. You know, the iPhone 13 with its 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED panel, it's a very good display. And I've been talking about this display for quite a bit of time, and it's pretty good. It's 60 hertz, so not 120 hertz like the Galaxy Z Flip 4. You also have a notch on the iPhone 13, but it isn't a foldable phone. So it's a complete rectangular slab. It doesn't fold at all. And honestly, it's kind of surprising that the Z Flip 4 with its bigger design actually is able to fold because it's not even that uncomfortable to hold in the hand. It's kind of long. I wish it was a little bit more in line with something like the iPhone 13, but the Z Flip 4 has a 6.7 inch AMOLED display. So it's not a Super Retina XR OLED, but it's still a very good display. Like I said, 120 hertz, and it isn't, I would say the S22 also has a better panel than this thing, but it makes sense because this is a folding phone. So because it folds, you also have an extra display on the front. It's not really that crazy big of a deal. I really don't ever use mine, but it's still nice to be able to see it. But I like being able to fold the phone because it kind of keeps things, like if I wanna put it in my pocket, it's a little bit more bulkier, but it kind of, you know, makes it a little bit more portable in some ways. I will be talking about this phone in the remainder of it basically as an unfolded device, but it's still really cool that we have that mechanism, and that's a really cool thing I like about the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Now, in terms of the actual thinness and thickness, you can kind of see we do kind of have the same type of layout, I would say, for the most part. They're both kind of flat sides, which is really nice. So we can see we have like the metallic sides. The iPhone 13 has more of a flat side with a SIM card eject tool up there. In terms of the back, it's very interesting because we kind of have similar setups as well. Dual camera setups on top. We do have glass backs on the iPhone 13, but we do have a frosted glass back on the Pixel, on the Z Flip 4. I don't know why I said Pixel. So that is a really cool thing. We actually kind of have a better build quality overall on the Z Flip 4 than the iPhone 13, which is very, very insane to me because this is a phone that is like flipping rather than just a rectangular bar. I will say there are still some advantages for the iPhone 13's design. Maybe some people don't like folding a phone and it's also a little bit of a smaller phone kind of if you think about it. So that's also something to keep in mind. But in terms of the outside, definitely some really big changes here for sure. Now in terms of the longevity of both these phones, this is a little bit of an interesting thing because this, you know, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 has a pretty new chipset. Sorry, I did that. It has a pretty new chipset. That is a really cool thing. So even though you're getting this newer type of design and everything, you're also getting a better chipset inside than a lot of newer phones, which is really cool. I'm not going to say that it's better than the iPhone 13s. We'll see that in a second. But I've done a lot of different things with the Z Flip 3, and I like the Z Flip 4 a lot too. So this design is cool. Longevity wise, I think it's going to match something like the Galaxy S22. So it's still going to be around for a few more years, definitely for you know, a long period of time. The iPhone 13 may last a longer than the Z Flip 4 in terms of software, but I don't know if it's going to be like the night and day difference. I would say if one of them is going to outlast the other one, it would probably be the iPhone 13, but it would only be by like about a year. Like it wouldn't be like a four year difference between these two. Both these phones are going to last for a long period of time. And that's a pretty cool thing between both as well. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. Now let's go into a speed comparison between both of these phones. The iPhone 13 has that Apple A15 binding chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM, where the Galaxy Z Flip 4 has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus chipset inside of it, or A Plus Gen 1 chipset, however you want to call it, with eight gigs of RAM on all the models that are available for it. So let's go and see which one's the fast one between both. Okay, very interesting how both these are so long. So the iPhone 13 is a little bit slimmer. So let's go and clear all the ass applications. Okay, let's go. So phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, don't really know which one's the faster one there. Hopping on to both these, let's open up their app stores. Three, two, one. And as I said before, you know, the Samsung love opening up their apps like instantaneously. Scrolling through, I don't know if there's that big of a difference here. I kind of get the same vibe between both. Let's go and hop out of this two. Let's go and get into their cameras. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go ahead and get into a photo and let's go and get into here. Okay, kind of the same thing too. Let's go and hop out of here. I wish I put on the gesture-based design on the Galaxy Z Flip 4 though. As always, we have a bunch of these third-party apps we can go and test out. Let's do stack, three, two, one. And I think the Z Flip 4 was faster, at least to load into the ad. This one, we didn't get into an ad, so that was a little bit of a different thing. So we'll get into snake versus blocks, three, two, one. 
okay. Z flip four is faster. iPhone 13, a little bit behind. Let's go and get into Bofa, three, two, one. Okay, Z flip four, again, was the faster one. iPhone 13, a little bit behind. Dropbox, three, two, one. Okay, Z flip four is faster. Quizlet, three, two, one. Almost identically the same. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's do Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. Okay, I think the Samsung, I actually don't know which one was the fast one. They, they were very, very identical. Hopping out of here, let's go and get into the next one, which is Twitter, three, two, one. I might be logged in here, I honestly don't remember, and I wasn't, and the Z Flip 4 was faster. Temple Run, one, three, two, one. And it possibly could be the Z Flip 4 is the fast one here too. So we're seeing a consistent winner here, which is really good to see with the Z Flip 4 consistently beating out the iPhone 13. So I really like seeing that. We can do Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. So I'm glad that the newer phone is the fast one. If you think about it, the iPhone 13 has like about a year old chipset inside of it. So I'm glad that we're seeing some differences here. And it does kind of seem like the Z Flip 4 is doing a really, really good job in terms of outperforming some older phones, which is really nice. So in terms of that, I will probably 100% give the edge to the Z Flip 4 being the faster one. I will be curious to see how they both compare a few months from now, especially with the iPhone 14s coming out. But that kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of the camera setup, as I mentioned before, very similar type of experiences. So we do have dual camera setups on both, which is really nice. So we have a wide and an ultra wide sensor, and they're both actually around the same megapixel count, which is very interesting. Now with the iPhone 13, I've talked about this camera so much. This is a beautiful lens, and I love this phone a ton. This camera has a lot of capability. You are missing telephoto lenses on both these phones, so it would have been kind of nice had they both had it, but it's understandable. These aren't like the most flagship of phones. Even with the Flip, even if you know, even though it costs a lot of money, it's not really the flagship. The Fold is the flagship, so I see what Samsung is doing. And with this type of phone, you have that ultra wide sensor, which is really nice. I will say for it having the cinematic mode, it's really cool but it doesn't really have too many crazy features that a lot of other Samsung phones kind of have nowadays. So I will say even like with the Flip 4, you're getting like a lot more features built into that camera than this one. So it would have been nice, but you do get 4K at 60 on the front and the back, which is a really, really nice thing. Now with the Z Flip 4, on the other hand, you're getting kind of a similar layout, as I said before. The sensors are a little bit smaller, but you are getting that wide and ultra wide lens. Now, on top of that, with this type of camera, you do actually get pretty much the same type of resolutions you can film in, which is really cool. So you're getting 4K at 60 on the back, which is nice, but you're only getting 4K at 30 on the front, which I still think is perfectly fine. It would have been kind of nice had it had 4K at 60, but I think it's totally understandable. But look at the, I will say the camera on the Z Flip 4 is actually pretty good. But it just so happens that the UI is actually still very good too. It's a little bit clunky, but my favorite thing about Samsung cameras is that they have so much capability built in. They just have so many crazy features. You have the standard video, photo, and portrait mode, but if you go under more, you have so many more features built in than a lot of other phones in the market, which is amazing. You have these pro modes, and this is the one area where I kind of do wish that Sam, that Apple kind of you know took it up a notch. I feel like they could easily do a better job. But they just don't for some reason. Like I feel like the camera module here has been the same for years now. Samsung has been taking it, just improving it like crazy. So I will say the iPhone 13 sensors may be better, but the Galaxy Z Flip 4 has a really good UI that I really do like with a bunch of features built in. So that kind of covers it up there. And to kind of sum up this video, you know, I feel like the Z Flip 4 is kind of just a, a cooler phone overall. You know, it has a really good chipset inside. I'm glad they put this newer chipset inside of it. It's so nice. It has pretty good cameras. It has pretty good battery life. It hasn't been the best battery life, but it's still pretty good. The folding mechanism though is really cool, but I feel like that mechanism kind of gets a little bit too old sometimes, and you're probably going to end up using it like this 99% of the time anyway. So I feel like it's cool to fold, but I feel like the fold, I feel like the folding phone is better. Like I feel like the fold is better than the flip, in my opinion. At least with the fold, you're getting like a way bigger phone with a way bigger display. This thing just flips open to a normal, kind of normal sized display, and there's not really a huge advantage for it. I would probably say if you're going to go for the flip, I would probably go for the Galaxy S22. If you want to spend the money, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, that is like the best phone you can buy. But this one does have a better chipset than that. But with the iPhone 13, this is probably going to be a phone that more people are going to be okay with. I feel like more people are going to get this phone and be comfortable with this device overall. 
And I feel like with this phone, you're getting a really good design, smooth operating system, uh, app updates for a long time, you know, software updates for a long time too. But really decent performance as well. I mean, it was keeping up with the Z Flip 4. It was faster here, but it was still keeping up pretty well. So that's kind of how it sum it up, especially with the iPhone 13 being a bit older now. You can probably get in the used market for a lot cheaper as well compared to the Z Flip 4. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.